that my computer was plugged in, it would be terrible if all of a sudden the sound just disappeared, right? The Hiroshima Peace Memorial one of the landmarks it's a tribute to those who lost their lives when an atomic bomb was dropped on the city by U the USA Tokyo's Imperial Palace the home of the Emperor of Japan Mount Fuji it's probably the most recognizable volcano Tokyo's fish market Todaiji Temple it's the world's largest wooden building Tokyo Disneyland although it's not really Japanese culture the Golden Pavilion Temple. It's shot it's shotgun's home built in thirteen ninety seven with the top floors top two floors covered in gold leaf. Tokyo Sky Tree is the tallest free standing tower in the world. Kyoto's Gaian District, the best place to see real geisha. Is it geisha? Geisha. Okay. And Japan's climate is quite temperate, with winters averaging around 5 degrees centigrade. And Summers around 25 degrees. And the islands of Japan are home to a wonderfully diverse range of plants and animals. The three main rivers in Japan are Shinano, Don, and Shikari A huge amount of the territory in Japan nearly three quarters of it is made up of forests and mountains and because of that Cities tend to have high population densities. There are a 108 active volcanoes in Japan. The country is also home to a significant number of strong earthquakes each century. In 2011, a quake of 9.0 magnitude triggered a devastating tsunami which killed more than 10,000 people and destroyed over 100,000 buildings. The four major cities in Japan are Tokyo, Yokohama, Osaka, and Nagoya. It's split into 47 prefectures similar to English counties or American states. Okay, now let's get 
to Tokyo. The word Tokyo translates as Eastern Capital. The city at the time this book was written is home to more, or rather was home to more than 13 million people. It was originally called Edo, however it changed its name in 1868, when it became the capital of Imperial Japan. The crime rate in Tokyo is incredibly low, especially in crimes against tourists. It is considered one of the world's safest tourist destinations. The city has more neon signs than anywhere else in the world. The Tokyo Stock Exchange is the third largest in the world only trailing behind World Financial Centers, London and New York. Tokyo's Shinjuku Station is the busiest in the world, with three and a half million passengers per day. It also has the most number of exits of any station in the world, more than 200. I guess to evacuate all these people if necessary. It is a great place for rich food lovers to visit. It has more Michelin stars than any city in the world. Tokyo's people are often quite superstitious, and most streets are supposedly home to at least one haunted house. Interesting. Kitten Cafes are quite popular in Japan. Vending machines selling everything from beer to toys, eggs to cigarettes, and even more unusual items are also popular. Pepsi flavored Cheetos are called Pepsi Shua Shua. Giant robots. One genre of Japanese science fiction is known as Mecha, which covers all kinds of robots, although generally fighting ones. And it is the basis for such cultural icons as Transformers. Watermelons shaped like pyramids, hearts, bombs, and Godzilla eggs. The fruit is generally given as a summer gift in Japan and for a prize. One can buy examples grown in very unusual ways. I'd like to see that. Capsule Hotels, the world's smallest hotel rooms. Space is its, its premium, mainly uh, Japanese. 
your cities. So those ja those capsule hotels are quite popular. It's basically a minuscule room consisting of just a place to sleep. Bokari Sweet. It's an energy. Or rather, it's, I think it's sweat. Bokari Sweat. It's an energy drink. Yeah, that's kind of nasty if you ask me. Prefans. In the summer, many companies give free personal mini fans as promotional items to hot pedestrians on the streets. Face masks in public. Many Japanese wear face masks around cities not to keep people's germs away but to prevent their own germs from being spread. Space age toilets. Most people want the toilet to flush and be done with it. However, the Japanese take their time in the smallest room seriously. In the country, you can find toilets more akin to water fountains with hundreds of functions, including precisely aimed water jets, mood lighting, massage capability, and of course a range of sound effects to keep you amused and to cover up any impolite noises. A couple of unusual facts. Japan has very little immigration and 98% of the country's population is made up of ethnic Japanese. Karaoke was invented in Japan. The word literally means empty orchestra. The man who invented it did so to entertain people and has not made a fortune from it like other people might have tried to do. A delicacy in Japan known as fugu is actually a toxic blowfish, although with the poisonous bits removed because the fish would be deadly if not prepared correctly chefs have to go through 11 years to training to be certified safe to prepare it that's kind of crazy right the world's most expensive tuna ever was sold in Japan for $735,000. In Japan, it is considered rude to blow your nose in public. Japanese people respect their elders and even have Respect for the aged day. Unusually for a country which is so healthy, however, old people are given free cigarettes outside train stations and department stores. Mm, Japan isn't a Christian country. But despite this, the population loves celebrating Christmas. It treated more like a Valentine's Day though than any with any significant religion.
religious traditions. One interesting Japanese delicacy is raw horse meat, which is often served as an entree. That's not something I'm go- I would try, that's for sure. The Japanese monarchy is the oldest continuous hereditary monarchy in the world. The Japanese have what may seem to us as an unusual taste in pizza toppings. One regular favorite is eels. Yummy. There is a subculture in Japan known as Dekotora, in which people decorate their trucks in garish style, almost like a fairground ride with bright lights, detailed murals, cartoon characters, and metal. Japanese are generally healthy people. Their life expectancy is four years longer than people in the USA. Did you also know that companies in Japan regularly hold morning exercise programs for their workers before they start their day. In Japan, there are around 130 voice acting schools to teach future generations of stars for animated shows. It is said that Star Wars was based on a Japanese movie called The Hidden Fortress. There is a Japanese tradition which says that your blood type defines various things about your character. Japan has the world's second highest adoption rate in the world at 80,000 people every year. Unusually, over 90% of these adoptees are actually adults. And this is because in Japan, Businesses are generally handed down from father to son. If the owner of a business only has female children or does not feel his own son is suitable to take it over, then it is common to adopt a child, male, adult male rather, who can be trusted to take those reins. There is a forest in Japan called Awakigahara, in which people say there are many restless spirits and is a hotbed of paranormal activity. And it's the world's most common suicide spot. Actually, I saw a movie that was based from this forest, or at least, I'm not sure if it was necessarily filmed there, but it was about it. The government in that port posted a number of signs up encourage visitors with 
tragic intentions to seek help. And that's true, help is always available. The Japanese love, love their caffeine. 85% of Jamaica's coffee production find its way to the country. Medical professionals in Japan have defined a condition called Paris Syndrome. It is the effect of feeling nauseous when one visits France's capital city only to find it is not as beautiful and romantic as others have led you to believe. Serious cases can actually suffer from sweating, dizziness, and hallucinations. Well, that concludes this short book with facts about Japan. I probably covered 90% of it. I skipped a couple of longer facts. But I hope this was relaxing to you and you also learned something about this wonderful country. I certainly would love to visit it one day. And in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourself. Take care of yourself. And as always, be 